Hey everyone, my name is Andy Park. Welcome to this channel. I recently watched a video from Kevin Stratford where he showed how to convert audio to text for free without time limits. This is remarkable since most transcription services charge a fee based on either the audio length or file size. His hack involves using a dictation tool. Unlike transcription services, dictation tools are more widely available for free without restrictions. Kevin's method involves using a free software called Virtual Audio Cable. This software will allow us to feed the system audio into a dictation tool to be processed. Put it another way, we're tricking the dictation tool to think that we are dictating whatever audio we're playing on the computer, which I think is brilliant. If you are interested in Kevin's video, I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so why am I talking about someone else's video? I thought it'd be interesting to tweak Kevin's hack, and rather than using a software solution like the virtual audio cable, we take a good old fashioned hardware approach and actually feed the audio to the computer using another device, like a field recorder, a smartphone, or even another computer. So let's back up a little bit here. Why would we want to convert audio file to text in the first place? Of course, there may be many reasons for this, but I can offer a few. For one, people have different preferences. Some people process information better when they can read it versus hearing it. Second, text allows us to skim through the content quickly and jump to different sections to review and extract information that we need. While we can also do this with video and audio files, it's not as easy to extract specific info unless we actually play through the file. Third, if we listen to content that is in a language not native to us, it might be hard to understand. People generally find it easier to process foreign language when they can be read versus listening to it. Lastly, if we're hard of hearing, it would obviously be easier to take in the information in a written form. So let me show you my approach on how we can do this. There are three things that we need. First, a software that has dictation or voice to text feature. I'll be using Google Docs to demonstrate this as it's free and available to everyone, but we can also do this with Microsoft Word as well. Second, we need a device that will feed the audio file to the computer that has Google Docs open. This can be another computer, a tablet, a mobile phone, or even a voice recorder like this. Third, we need an audio cable that connects the two devices. More specifically, we need a TRS to TRS cable. I'll put a link in the description below. If you use an iPad, iPhone, or other smart devices that do not have dedicated headphone jack, we may need one of these adapters as well. Okay, so I'll first demonstrate with a field recorder. I have a voice memo that I recorded earlier. I'll connect my audio cable to the line out or the headphone jack of my voice recorder to the line in of my laptop. My laptop has a hybrid audio port, so whenever I plug in an audio cable, I need to tell it what it is. So here, I'll select line in. We then have to go to our sound settings and make sure that line in is selected as our microphone device. We can play the audio from our field recorder and test the microphone to ensure we're getting a signal. We can also check that we're getting a healthy signal by monitoring the audio level and adjusting the volume in our field recorder accordingly. Once this is set, we can open our Google Doc, place the cursor where we want the transcription to start, then choose voice typing from the tools menu. We can also choose the shortcut, Control shift s Then we simply play the audio file from our field recorder. You can see that Google Docs is picking up the audio and converting it to text. Just for variety, let's try playing a podcast from an iPhone. I'll connect one end of the TRS cable to the iPhone using a lightning adapter and leave the other end plugged into the laptop with the line in option. Let's activate voice typing and hit play on the podcast. The neat thing is we can play the content at higher speed and still get pretty accurate transcription. So if we have a longer audio file, let's say a 45 minute file, we can play it in 1.5 speed and have the transcription completed in 30 minutes. 
Now the transcribed file will lack structure and will be missing punctuations, so it won't be so easy to read. And there will be some errors for sure. But if you use it as a companion to the audio file, it should still be very helpful. Well that's it for this video, thanks for watching. Hope you can find good use for this hack. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks and bye for now.